So this is TMZ checking in on DC Young Fly. See how he's doing. Ex-fiance passed some time ago. And, and he's uh trying to bounce back as best he can. Best as any of us would try to know how. And listen. This is heavy. man. It's, it's, it's heavy to go through. We, we all got heavy problems. And I'm not trying to compare his problems to my problems to your problems to their problems. Because... As we look around the world, the world has problems. But one thing I see in common with what he just said is that the world wants to see you cry. I think back to the Dark Knight movie, Batman movie, the Heath Ledger is the, is the Joker. Probably the best Batman movie there was, but uh, it was a scene where it was Alfred. And he was talking about the guy with the rubies in the forest and it was like he was robbing for the, for the rubies and he, and he would get the rubies and he would just throw them away. And they were like, they didn't understand. They were like, he don't want the he don't want the, the riches of that he killed people for. And Alfred just say, man, some people just want to see the world burn. And I think it was some after that scene where they showed the Joker where he stole all that money and he set it on fire because he didn't want the money. He wanted chaos and as Alfred said to see the world burn and I find that to be true some people just want to see just like he said some people want to see him cry you don't even know why but you want to see him it's like America we build people up these celebrities we build them up so they can tear them down and you see it around the world as well there's so many conspiracy theories about things that is going on like who did this and who did that and what was the cause of this and what was the cause of that and why is America funding this because they in bed with these people and that people and this, that, and the other and they, you know, it was an inside job and it's so much that like, I don't, I don't even, I'm not there and I'm not diminishing, but I, I, I don't understand fully enough what's going on to speak on everything, but my heart does go out to the people that are being done like this. You know what I'm saying? You see the kids and you just think like, man, man, what if that was my kid? Man? Like kids in shock, like they uh, disbelief of what's going on and you know, just a hug by a doctor to let them know that they safe for two minutes just breaks them down and they, they cry. I don't know who is right or who is wrong. I haven't been keeping up with it enough. And forgive me for that. But, uh, but I'm just saying it's a thing with the world where it's just like some men just want to see the world burn. And I don't get it. But I don't think it's for me to get. Because just like I believe in God, I believe there is a devil. Some people are not religious. That's fine. That's fine. This, this portion of the video may not be for you. But I believe there is some evil in this world that just can't be explained. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know why they want the world to burn. But they just do. And these people reside all over. They definitely 
they reside in America for sure. America is one of the biggest devils in the land. But it's a lot of devilish people all over the world. I just don't understand them. Because I wasn't raised like that. When I see people that I can't that I can't stand going through something, I, like I can't I can't stand what they talk about, what they stand for, what they this and what they that. When I see people get broke down to their last, you know, <laughs> broke down to their brake pads, like Martin say. <laughs> Y'all forgive me, man, because I try to laugh this stuff like this, man. It it it, it weigh on you, make you want to cry, but you like. You got to laugh to keep from crying sometimes, man. So when even I have, you know, look, looking at the all the stuff we have in America, the gender wars, the 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 racist back and forths in between us, and, and all the stuff that we going through, it's like when you see somebody going through somebody that you can't stand going through it, and you like you got that I told you so in them. Yeah, you got that I told you so, but you also got. Or at least me, I also have the compassion part. Like, like, oh man, I ain't. I don't know if I want to see him go and lose all that money. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted them to understand where I'm coming from and not diminish me and my people and belittle us and make us. You know what I'm saying? I wanted them to get the point. I didn't. I don't. I don't know if I wanted them to be harmed or to be at a loss of all of their resources to feed their families. At the end of the day, I got a family. You got a family. I don't care what color you is. We can all understand when the kids are being harmed or the kids going through something. Man, we see these videos. I think any father of any race or any mother of any race can understand the gut-wrenching, like, why would they do them babies like that? And I don't, I don't wish that type of evil on nobody, man. But I gotta, I gotta be a buck as well. I don't understand it. My heart is not with evil intentions. So I don't fully get it. I never will. I never will. I'm not built like that, man. And if you are not built like that as well, I, I implore you to, hey, speak on it, man, or whatever. Let's, let's, I don't know the solutions. But I do know I hate to see people that love to see others cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not good for the world, man. And that's why I feel like we're getting farther and farther away from God. And whether you believe in God or not, that's fine. But even if you don't believe in God, you got to admit society in general is terrible. We're getting further and further away from just the goodness and the humanity in us all to being more cold-hearted, more cold-blooded, than we've ever seen before. And we're mixing God with worldly things. And I'm going to say this. <sighs> as much as DC Young Fly promotes God, I love it. I also pray and hope that he gets closer to God in his entertainment and everything that he does as well. You know, because I'm a heathen as well, right? <laughs> or a half a heathen, whatever, however you want to cut it. And I feel the disconnect between myself sometimes of wanting people to come towards God, but me not being rooted enough in God to pull them anywhere near him, right? Because what I'm doing is not enough. And I said, I just got, I just got to be fair when I talk about me or DC Young Fly or, you know, because I see the Instagram models will do the same thing. And I call them out as well when they clapping their cheeks and then put a 
godly verse up under it. It's like, why are we putting God's name on that? You know? But we all works in progress. We all can get better. Yeah. I'm hoping and praying that we do. I'm hoping and praying that the world do. Because how stuff is going right now, man, I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. And all I can say is we got work to do. But this is your boy P. Camp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.